Hey guys, thanks for stopping by my channel. This video is going to be kind of a review and a demonstration of the Ninja Coffee Bar. I just got one for Christmas and I don't know how I ever lived without it. I'm so excited to have this thing. Uh, and I had made two coffee videos in the past and those were pretty well received. I think a lot of people like coffee. Every time I start to film, my neighbor starts shooting. So anyway, I thought I'd talk a little bit about the coffee that I drink. Can you hear that? So anyway, I thought I would talk a little bit about the coffee that I like to drink and I will show you one of the coffee drinks that I make with the Ninja. Uh, I've made, I've already made several different kinds of coffee drinks with it, but I'm just gonna pick one and show you that today. If you guys are interested, I can show you more coffee recipes. I actually really like this sort of thing. Um, I like cooking and baking and coffee, and I know this is a gun champ, but if you guys are interested in uh, coffee type stuff, I can definitely add that in. So the coffee that is my favorite, and I've been drinking this probably since March, so almost a year, this is the caffeinated as fuck coffee from Black Rifle Coffee Company. I actually get this on their monthly subscription box. So basically I get them to ship me, I think it's three bags a month and it just auto ships so I never run out of it. I think I might have to up my subscription or add a couple bags in there because I definitely have been drinking a whole lot more coffee ever since I got this Ninja thing. But anyway, this is the blend that I'm really liking right now. I need to try more of their stuff but I just love this one so much I keep picking the same thing. If you guys really like a different blend from Black Rifle Coffee, let me know that down below and I will try it out. So the coffee drink I'm gonna be making today is an iced mocha and I might add some raspberry syrup to that. I know it's winter and there's actually snow on the ground outside but I'm really craving an iced coffee right now uh, and I really like the mochas. The Ninja coffee bar thing comes with a really good recipe book. There's 20 recipes in here. The recipe that I'm gonna be going off of is one for a vanilla ice latte and I'm not that big of a fan of vanilla so I'm just gonna add some chocolate syrup and make it a mocha. Okay, so I thought I would get in closer to show you guys what this coffee maker looks like. Here's how it is. It's pretty tall. It actually goes up to about where my cabinet is. And I actually have to pull it out away from the cabinet when I'm using it because it has these steam holes on the top and it actually does cause condensation up underneath my cabinet. And as you can see, I have a light under there. So uh, when I use it, I just pull it out. But what I liked about this coffee maker in particular over all the other ones is that it does different kinds of brews. So it does classic, rich, over ice, specialty, cafe forte, which I'm not really sure what that is. I haven't used it yet. It has all these different sizes that you can pick from. You can delay your brew. It comes with this gold reusable filter, which I really like. I'm not a fan of the Keurigs and the whole pod system. So that just goes in there. It has this really large water reservoir and I just try to keep that filled all the time. This literally just comes right up like that and it has a lid. So I just put that over the sink and fill it up. It also has this little frother that's attached to it, so you can froth your milk. You can froth it cold or hot. I really like that. I'm going to be using that today for the latte, and it comes with a scooper. So it has like the small scoop on one side and the large. To get started, I get the whole beans and I grind them myself. So I just have a regular coffee grinder and I've already ground the beans. This recipe is a specialty brew, and for that, it says to use two big scoops. Next, I just have to fill up this large cup with some ice. It's gonna be super loud coming out of my freezer, so I'll be right back. All right, I got the ice, and like I said, this recipe is for a vanilla latte. So instead of using vanilla syrup, I'm gonna use some Hershey's chocolate syrup, and it says two tablespoons, and I am just gonna eyeball it. That's about right. So once you've got your chocolate syrup in there, you just put your mug underneath here. Make sure this is turned on. Set it to travel mug, cause that's the size I'm using. And it wants you to press the specialty button. While that's brewing, I'm gonna go ahead and froth the milk. So you add three fourths cup of milk. 
So I'm just gonna measure that out. And then to use the frother, you literally just press this button right here. And you hold it down for 30 to 45 seconds. This piece just twists off really easy so you can wash it off. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and add some raspberry syrup to it. I just ordered this from Amazon, so I'm just gonna put a little bit in there. I don't really measure things. Stir that up, make sure the chocolate's mixed in there, and add the milk. And now to try it. That's awesome. I love this so much. The raspberry really makes a difference. I've only made this with just the chocolate. So yeah, I'm kind of surprised at how much I really do like the raspberry in there. You seriously never need to go to another coffee shop again who needs Starbucks, not this girl. Not that I even like Starbucks, but I definitely don't need to go there. But when I'm at home now, I can make all the coffee drinks that I want to, and I'm so excited about that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video. I really do love talking about things that make me happy. And so if I come across products, even if they aren't uh, gun or holster related, I would like to tell you guys, I like to spread the word of things that I think are awesome. I definitely wanted to tell you guys how much I love the Ninja Coffee Bar. And of course, how much I love Black Rifle coffee. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys have a great New Year's. I don't know if I'm gonna get this up today or not, but if I do, happy New Year's. If not, happy 2018, and I will see you guys later. Bye.